Yeah. So uh, let's bring on our first guest. Yes, absolutely. As I said, she's a charming young lady. She's from Staten Island. She's actually Miss Staten Island. Miss Staten Island. What? Miss Staten Island. Yeah. I called her Mrs. before, but she's Miss Staten Island. <laughs> let's give a late night welcome for Jamie Lee Macha. Yeah. I love lately when we, when we bring on a guest, you see about five seconds of the white curtain. And th then you see the guests on the TV. <laughs> How you doing? I am. I'm great. How are you? You're looking great. Thank you. From the age of three, you were dancing. Yes. You, can't, you wanted to be a dancer. Uh, I've been dancing forever, and I always competed in dance, and that was my thing. And then I discovered Miss Staten Island and the Miss America organization, which is a scholarship organization. And uh, I decided to try it. I mean, I needed scholarships. I was a senior in high school and I thought it was a really good idea and I was able to still dance and perform while I was doing it and that's how I got involved. So who knew? Who knew Great. I would be here? <laughs> that's amazing. I, yeah. I had a question for you. You know, whenever I think about somebody in the beauty pageant world and somebody who has to be absolutely beautiful all the time, <laughs> I think of like this great chef who has to marinate his food the night before. How, do you, how does a, a beauty queen marinate herself before she goes to a famous show? <laughs> what a question. I knew she was <laughs> My right. gosh. Um, well, I mean, I don't consider myself a beauty queen by any means, and it's definitely not easy. I don't look like this when I wake up. That's really just, it doesn't happen right away. Um, so, I mean, I, my thing, my key thing is always to lay out my stuff the night before I have an appearance and get everything ready because I'm not really like a spur of the moment mm -hmm. kind of person, mm -hmm. so I guess that's how I would get everything and ready. that's how Jamie Lynn that's, marinates? That is how <laughs> I marinate. I okay, okay, for all you guys who want to know. Yeah. The, <laughs> yep. Now listen, I want to ask you something about, uh, that's big in your profession, pageant, pageant stereotype. Yes. What does that mean? There's a, a lot, lot of, of them. There's a lot of pageant stereotypes. I mean, everybody thinks we're airheads. We don't really know what we're talking about. Everybody shows the videos of uh, the girls who mess up when mm -hmm. they're answering their questions on stage, and mm -hmm. those are the only ones people focus on. And why do we strut around in bikinis? Because it's just a beauty pageant and blah, 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 and all those stuff. So, I mean, I just try to tell everybody as much as I can that it's a scholarship organization. Every girl is in extremely intelligent. Mm -hmm. We all have gone to college or planning to go to college. I mean, that's why we're competing. And we're all promoting platforms and doing community service. So it's hard to go against it sometimes because that's what everybody thinks. But we do the best we can. Everybody has an opinion about everything. Exactly, you know? exactly. What are you going to do? Now, do you find that you are somebody who's very approachable to people? Because, I mean, you are. we were in the back, and you were very approachable. But do you think that you kind of intimidate men that want to <laughs> talk to you? Well, I'm glad that you thought I was approachable. I definitely, I th I've been told that I scare people sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think I come across that way at all. But apparently, I'm intimidating when I have a crown on. Today, I didn't have a crown on. See, see. that's why I think. I would have stayed away. From that's that. exactly. So maybe, maybe the crown is intimidating. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of guys that don't have self-esteem, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they want to date you. <laughs> but they're, they're shy. I, I guess. I mean, That's I've, a, I've had a boyfriend for six years. <laughs> so, I mean, he's he, not is intimidated. Is he Mr. Staten Island? No, I, 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 people call him that. So, uh, yes. <laughs> he's Mr. Staten Island. Mr. Staten Island. <laughs> hey, Mr. Staten yep. Island. That's good. So yeah. good. Now, listen, what do you, what's your plans for the future? Besides, when, you know, once this is all over. <sighs> well, this is already retired. This was gone November 9th, oh. so this is done, but I will always be Miss Staten Island. Yes. I was it two times, yes. so um, I have one more year to compete in the Miss America organization and try to be Miss New York, so I great. will do that. I will try to do that, and then from there, whatever happens, happens. Continue in my career. That's it. Whatever's meant to be will be. She was <laughs> the first Mrs. Staten Island I have had. She was yeah. the first one that won it twice, she told me in the back. Yes, That's I was. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Let right. me ask you a question. If you have... Now you've had a whole year to be Miss Staten Island again. If you can go back and be any famous female of the past, who would it be and why? Oh my gosh. If I could be any famous female, Audrey Hepburn. Ooh, wow. She's so classic. I nice. think that would definitely, and I think that's my style. That's mm -hmm. how I try to keep myself. So I think I would fit right into her shoes. That's awesome. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. See, that's an answer they wouldn't expect from a beauty queen. There you go. Right? There you go. I no, think the stereotype all. is just lifted right there. <laughs>
I'm gonna do a trivia question on you. Uh, oh gosh. In preschool, you were you were obsessed, and you thought, and what was that? You you, you thought you were convinced you were Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. What was that all about? Yes, <laughs> I I don't know. I guess I had some kind of complex when I was in preschool. The original? I, I yes, the, from the movie Dorothy. I thought I was Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and more than thought, I was convinced, and I had them write it on all of my papers when I did little <laughs> artwork in preschool and everything and they wrote Jamie on the back from my parents of course but cool. I was convinced and I think it was the ruby slippers ah. I don't know <laughs> that was a great movie yes it that's my favorite movie yeah oh awesome. yeah hands down my awesome. favorite <laughs> yeah I got one more and, you, and you, we talked about this you were born pigeon toed right yeah so what got you to take that extra step to dance well I mean I started dancing my aunt she was always in gymnastics and all things like that. And she got me involved in dancing. And I was born pigeon toed. And I just think it's really incredible that I don't really, you, you don't see it anymore. And but I you don't, attribute yeah. a lot of that to dance. I mean, you see it when I'm really tired, like I throw my feet and stuff. So maybe you'll see it later. I don't know. Like when I leave when here. When you're walking, you mentally know. You're yeah. like, oh, don't walk pigeon toed. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think dance really helps with that, though. You know, you focus on turnout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, good. Listen, it was great for you to come and uh, visit yeah, us. Thank Keep you. us posted. Next time, Definitely. next year, you come back on the show. Hopefully, you'll uh, you'll win again. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, Miss New York. Who knows? Really Mrs. New York. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be married. But <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna cut it and start it over. But <laughs> if I don't mess up someone's name once per show, it ain't the Johnny no one's P show, right, it. everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hooked on phonics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so listen, Suave, I'd like to say special thank you to thank you. you. For taking you the time of coming all the way out. But where'd you come here from? Rockland? Rockland County. Rockland yeah. County Rockland drove County, here. Yes. Just how much he loves everybody. And you know what? Thank you for hooking me up with oh, Noel. Noel. He did a great job. He did a great job. That's one of the greatest freestyle artists of all time. So I'm glad he filled in the shoes and uh, came in and I I couldn't have asked for another better person to to take over and do it. And I know I heard TK totally killed it. They, they were great. Do. We had a great time here. That's the best part of being, you know. And that's how that. I knew you were a gentleman because a lot of people, if they cancel last minute, there I cancel. But we schedule. He went out of his way and got me a, a, a freestyle artist. Yeah, so absolutely. I appreciate that. So definitely come back. I'm looking anytime. forward. To it. I'm looking forward. To it. All right. I cool. gotta tell you, this this co-hosting thing is kind of fun. <laughs> you did great.